Gotta get this paper, get this cake up Gotta do my hair, gotta put on makeup Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Brianna. Okay, so I'm gonna be giving tips for people that consider wanting to consider having a YouTube channel. This video's just for you. You can't to the right place. So I'm gonna break down like all the tips and tricks and even my little secrets that y'all should probably know on and starting a channel so yeah so first we're gonna start with number one um commitment so we're gonna talk all about commitment and really what you need to do in order keeping the channel and having the right mindset so um starting a youtube channel you don't want to just start it just because you want to start it because you're genuinely really wanting to start a youtube channel do it because do it for the right reasons don't do it for the wrong reasons um i see people literally probably say oh you get paid like shoot let me get let me get some coin and run this up like nah 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 that's not how it works um just don't come on youtube thinking you can do it only for the money like no um just don't do it for the wrong reasons have good intentions with um having a channel and hopefully you see yourself being successful first things first you have to have the right mindset into starting a YouTube channel um, your mindset has to consist of like okay I can do this I'm confident that I can run this channel up be successful at it I see myself doing this in the future and having fun with this just do it all for the right reasons don't do it for the wrong reasons and really one of the most popular wrong reasons is doing it for the money only and clout whatever you want to call it don't do that it's not worth it if you just do it for money because if you're only doing it for the money then you're gonna see yourself getting bored not having fun dreading every video you do like no don't don't come on youtube doing it for the wrong reasons no like come on now just do it for the right reasons have the right mindset and do it because you genuinely feel like okay I see myself doing a channel and be having fun at this and be successful at it and whatever else so yeah the money is just a plus but okay let me tell y'all why I started my channel so I started my channel because I actually enjoy editing videos and I like to talk to myself a lot <laughs> so I don't know <laughs> But I actually really started a channel because I have a lot of favorite YouTubers and I remember wondering like wow I could I could see myself doing this too and they really entertained me a lot and I felt like I could probably influ help influence people especially with my mindset I feel like it's really good at my age and I feel like I can become a good influencer to some people in the younger generation and not only that I can have fun doing it and I actually really enjoy I'm very actually artistic and I really enjoy you know um, having people see my craft and like my creativity and what I bring to the channel and all that I feel like it's just so fun like just editing and a lot of people don't like editing me I mean it just depends what I'm editing but if I'm editing stuff for myself I I don't know why I enjoy it so much it's just like kind of fun to me because I like to see like it's just cool to like have that feeling where like people are seeing your creativity and like you know like it's just all worth it at the end like in one video like you take all this time and effort and to one video and it's just like wow people are gonna watch me for me and not just you know but that's I don't know I could just go on and on why I started the YouTube channel but basically yeah uh, guys if y'all have like a similar mentality like y'all like okay well basically all I can say to y'all is go into um, starting a YouTube channel with the correct mindset don't do it for the wrong reasons and yeah moving on to consistency now consistency is a really big part of YouTube um, you'll see it in a lot of other people's videos when they talk about like starting a YouTube channel They'll talk about being consistent post a video every day um, And it's actually kind of true. Um, I've seen changes. I've been doing YouTube for two years I consider myself a beginner just like y'all still now 
um, a lot of people say that are like very successful youtubers they always like they say don't worry about the numbers don't worry about the subscribers comments number of likes you get number of views don't worry about that don't worry about that really just focus on the content you're making the quality of the content and by quality I'm not talking about just camera quality I'm talking about the time and effort you put in to editing the videos and all that other good stuff um, and yeah just really stay consistent um, have a flexible schedule a schedule you can work with now me I'm like kind of consistent I'm still working on being consistent it's just like I don't know girl I really have no excuse cuz I stay home 24 7 so yeah y'all just be consistent because like you know and if you feel like you don't have enough time to just be consistent enough to post video after video then maybe YouTube might not be for you moving on um yeah just be consistent there's really not much else to say it's pretty pretty self-explanatory so yeah okay next topic is quality so when I say quality I'm not gonna talk only about video quality like camera quality wise I'm also gonna talk about the effort and the amount of time you put in the videos okay so we're gonna get to the camera quality after I say this okay <laughs> so no hold on we'll get to that <laughs> okay really it's basically when it comes to like editing your videos the amount of effort and time you put into videos it really shows guys like when you watch the whole video like you you your finished product you watch the whole video it's gonna show the effort the time it's gonna all show um, when you watch the video so just make sure you put enough time and effort don't rush because it's gonna show the video can either turn out really awesome or really ass so just make sure y'all put enough time and effort into editing y'all's videos so the quality can be amazing balls and I really just did it but yeah okay now moving on to camera quality okay so if you're a beginner like me I guess or if you if you're just starting your channel okay don't worry about buying a really expensive camera because that's not really necessary at least yet um, do that when you actually hit the amount you want to hit like be realistic like do that when you actually hit like a hundred subscribers or something like set a goal for yourself like okay I'll I'll do this and I'll buy this when I hit this much like just do that when you actually see really good progress in your channel and you reach all the goals and limits you want for yourself because if you just buy it literally starting the channel and then you realize like later on having the channel like oh I kind of don't want to do YouTube this is not for me and then you're stuck with that a thousand dollar camera which is not bad because you can still do stuff with it but still like it's just what's the point so if I were y'all I would just use your phone your phone really can do everything you need it can edit videos for you and it can edit all types of stuff so honestly if you have an iPhone you're kind of already set smooth geo I think he gained his first a million subscribers off his phone just using his phone so anything is literally possible guys so don't go don't be that person and go buy a thousand dollar camera don't do that unless you're like just rich and you know okay cool I have a camera that's very affordable what you can do is get an affordable camera um now don't go and buy I'm not saying go buy an extremely expensive camera the G7X don't do that don't do that at least just get something affordable or use your phone that's all I'm saying because it's not really necessary okay I think I'll get my point moving on so since we're kind of since we made it this far it's the end of the video well you're lucky because you get to know all the secrets and little tricks and the apps and software that I be using for my channel okay so when I first started I was using my iPod and the app that helped me so much that I still use till this day is video shop and that app is that app like just saved my life I use that app 
for so many videos y'all don't even know but that app um i'm not really gonna tell y'all how to use it it's pretty self-explanatory now if now if you don't try to like at least try to do it yourself then like i don't really know what to tell y'all just at least try to do it yourself um next um is filmmaker pro um that app is pretty cool i didn't really use that app that much but it did help for a lot of things so i recommend those two apps and that's pretty much it yeah but those apps when it comes to editing will save your life especially video shop that's like the number one thing that i used moving on to software that i did use when i was a beginner on my laptop pc is davinci resolve davinci resolve helped me a lot it was complicated at first but those tutorials they put on youtube will literally save your life so i advise y'all to like watch those videos because that helped me a lot so davinci resolve that is one app and then the next i'm not app software <laughs> um yeah and it's free by the way all this stuff that i'm saying it's free um unless you like have the pro version then it's gonna cost money but most of it is free like it will literally set you up if you're a beginner um the next software that i use now currently is premiere pro that software i feel like almost everyone uses that one literally all the popular youtubers they use that most of them but yeah so those are basically all the apps and software that i recommend using and if you're a beginner like me i still kind of consider okay i'm kind of like an intermediate i don't know i don't know what I okay now if you're a beginner i recommend using video shop because that app was just so easy to use and it's pretty self-explanatory now if you still don't know how to use it you probably didn't try because it's literally that easy um but if you still need help there's nothing wrong with asking people for help um y'all can hit me up on my social medias and i got y'all um also i forgot to mention this in the video um now all the software and like when it comes to video editing and all that at least try to do it yourself because then you can say okay i at least tried to do this and it will set you up for the future like when you plan on like making videos like you don't have to count on anybody basically so that's my advice don't count on anybody to edit your videos because then you're not really gonna go anywhere and you're not really gonna grow you want to know and learn how to make your own videos your own thumbnails at least try um now it's okay to ask for help because like a lot of people are you have the resources and everything it's definitely okay to ask for help but at least try first because if you at least try then you'll feel so much better and you'll be like okay at least i tried basically just go into starting a channel with a good mindset and look for all the pros and cons and if you have more pros good job you're ready to start a channel and if you have more cons and you like you don't have the time or something to start a channel maybe having a youtube channel is not for you so yeah okay i'll probably make a part two because i don't know if i covered everything <laughs> but if y'all still have questions that i didn't answer feel free to um hit me up on my social media yeah i'm like really happy to help y'all out like i'm over here doing intros for free because a lot of people need help <laughs> so yeah y'all um well that's it for this video like and subscribe and i'll see you on my next video